In the 1860s, there was a zoologist by the name of Philip Sclater who proposed that there was a landmass that stretched from Madagascar all the way to India. Sclater suggested that such a landmass could explain an apparent discrepancy in the evolutionary tree of species found in Africa and India. His reasoning for thinking this is that you can find lemurs in Madagascar, and you can find lemurs in India, but not in Africa. And Madagascar is a lot closer to Africa than India. At some point in history, Madagascar and India had to be connected by a giant landmass. Sclater names the lost landmass Lemuria. Several other Victorian academics suggest that Lemuria could even hold the key to one of the greatest mysteries of human evolution. Some scholars suggest that this lost landmass is where we originated from, mankind. This is where we came down from the trees, which is now what we call the missing link. Maybe all the evidence we need is on Lemuria and it's this land bridge and it's now buried underwater. The missing link in human evolution may just have been found from space. Then on the island of Mauritius comes another clue. Scientists go to Mauritius and scoop up some sand and other soil, and what they found was something very surprising. What they found in those samples were zircons. Zircon crystals are minerals created when continents first formed during the Earth's turbulent geological past. The fact that you find zircon crystals on this young island suggests that there must be some kind of continental crust that's beneath the island. Geologists now believe that the lost continent detected by the NASA satellites was once part of an ancient supercontinent. 180 million years ago, the giant landmass began to break up, creating Africa, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. Apocalyptic tectonic forces pull the lost continent apart and submerge it beneath the waves. When a continent breaks up, the entire Earth's crust will just be ripped open and leaves chunks of these continents just stranded in the middle of nowhere. Gravity mapping of the Earth's oceans is revealing previously undiscovered parts of the planet. As to what else lies beneath the waves, we can only speculate. We now have the technology to apply what we have found in this one particular place to the entire globe. This might be the first of many more ancient continents that we find beneath the waves. 